Hi. <laughs> Forgive my voice on this one. A little bit of a <laughs> chesty thing happening. But you're here, which is what matters. Because you could you could have taken the day off, but that's how you I are. could have, as we say in Australia, Annabelle, I could have chucked a sickie, but I didn't. <laughs> okay, I learned we learned we learned a new word today. <laughs> well, <I'm afraid. laughs> okay, so yeah, so excuse her if she if she coughs, just to you know, guys. <laughs> Good wishes to you. I hope you get better soon. But thank you so much for being here. It's always such a pleasure to to see you, to talk to you. Oh, I needed to tell you this. I forgot to tell you before we started. Um, I got a message from one of my viewers, and uh, it was such a lovely message. It, uh, he was telling me that he he has a, a partner, his wife, who ha has never never played games with him. She she uh, saw her father playing games uh, and thought that that was just something guys do. Yeah. Uh, and then um, my viewer uh, showed her our videos of us talking about our board games, having us just you know time telling you guys how much we enjoy them and what games we enjoy. And she finally agreed to play with them. So they watched another one of my videos of Dungeons and Dragons, Bolt of Dragons, and they played the game and she actually won. And now she's excited to play more videos. Oh, that's amazing. Right? Yeah. So I was so touched by that. I, I, sometimes you think, hey, I'm just talking to Angela or I'm just playing a board game just because I enjoy it and, and I have, you know, this channel going on and I, and I love playing games, but you do not know the impact or what goes beyond what you create and how other people are touched. And to hear those stories, that that just, yeah, that just keeps yeah. the channel. And for them, for that person to take the time to let you know as well, it's just so lovely. Oh, thank okay. you, that person. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I should have, I should have um, trying to remember his name, I, I don't. Ah, uh, yeah, I read, I read a lot of stuff, both because of the band and because of Meeple Village. I read a lot of weird names too. <laughs> <laughs> unpronounceable for me so uh, i apologize for not knowing your name uh maybe what i'll do is i'll, I'll try and find it and mention it somewhere yeah. else or we'll fi i'll figure it out but i'll give you credit <laughs> and there i'm making there i go making promises remember what i just said that i don't like making promises on camera <laughs> oh look out <laughs> I, I think he deserved it because it was a very nice comment and it, and it really touched me so hopefully he's listening to this and he he knows who he is. So. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Thank you. So today, what are we going to talk about today? Today, we've done our magic thing, sneaking onto Board Game Geek and finding games that we have never heard of. <laughs> Part that's two. Right. Part two, correct. So we, we had a comment that somebody wanted us to do a part two of this. Apparently they didn't enjoy it. They enjoyed that much uh, that they wanted uh, another run of more research on games we haven't heard of. So that's really cool. But before we do that, we have to do our game. And I have to admit, I forgot to double check, but I do believe that it was a game that I talked about. It was Guess the Game and it was uh, uh, you going know. to a house to discover secrets by playing mini games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was something like that. It might not be the exact words I used, but the answer is uh, Mansions of Madness. Uh, Mansion of Madness is, is you play mini games, you uncover secrets, and it's a very popular game. Hopefully, uh, some of you guys guessed it. And stay tuned because at the end of this video, uh, we're going to have another game, right? We'll pop it up. I think we'll do just to mix it up a little, maybe a little bit of box art again. See who can okay. spot the box. Spot the box. Okay, so stay tuned for that at the end of the video. We love to play with you guys and, and just get those comments. Uh, all right, so uh, who should start? Do you want to get us started with your list? Sure, I can get you started. I've got my list here, and uh, we'll share Board Game Geek, so give people a, an idea of like what's happening. So my first one is called Aethermon. Have you heard of it? Now it's actually um, it was actually on the front page of Board Game Geek, and that's where oh. I saw it. I didn't use my cheeky uh, the, the I cheeky cheeky. typing it in. I saw it and I was like, I've never heard of that. Let okay. me find it. Aethermon? Aethermon. Aethermon Collect. Collect. I love the art already. Right. Now, it caught my attention because of the art, like you just said. You know I'm a sucker for a cute game, right? Uh -huh. The more I delved into it, the more I was like, ooh, they're a little cheeky. And I'll show you why. This, this is the game here. You basically go along rows or columns, as far as I could work out, 
and you collect these little creatures and you got to collect them all. Oh, <laughs> that does not ring a bell at all. <laughs> no, I think it's so clever. Um, and the, the funny thing is I was, I was looking into it because obviously straight away oh. I was like, that's just oh, that's so look at that guy. I know right? who that is. <laughs> yeah, right? There's a few wow. there. I was like, oh, my a God. Few. Yeah. How, oh have they, how have they managed to get away with this? But uh, yeah. anyway, they have, and I think it's coming to Kickstarter soon. Oh, okay. um, I think that was why it was on, on the front page of uh, Board Game Geek. Okay. But I was surprised. But I looked into some reviews um, because I was like, surely I can't be the only person that has looked at that and gone, how have they managed to avoid that lawsuit? And right. uh, numerous uh, people hadn't mentioned it, but someone called We're Not Wizards. I think I've heard of them. I probably follow them on Twitter. And I want to read this because it made me lol, right? Okay. I don't want to, he says, I don't want to be that guy. But if you're going after Pokemon, then you need to be on your A game with whatever you're putting out there. And then he said at the bottom, um, it, it's trying, it's trying to target a certain audience, but it's boring. <laughs> um. He has not minced words. But basically, yeah, he's also saying that they've basically just ripped off Pokemon. Definitely. Wow. But anyway, I was drawn to it because of the artwork. And then when I looked into it, I was like, um, I'll just I'll just play Pokemon if I want to if I want Yeah, I was gonna say I do not think I appreciate that. I mean unless unless I I, I can't judge it yet because I don't know enough about it. If it's a well, complete it looks pretty copy. basic doesn't it it doesn't look um it doesn't even look as advanced as pokemon i don't know i don't know is, is it a card game though or it's do you a go to... thing i think uh i vaguely read i think you basically it's you can play it co-op or against each other and you choose a row or column and you get to take a card from that row or column okay <coughs> sorry my voice is uh, starting to go yeah. yeah anyway there we go have you heard of that one Okay, yes. Okay, well, <laughs> I've never heard of that. I mean, I think I've heard of Pokemon. I'm not sure. Oh, I have to go check. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I was interested at first, but then when I saw Pikachu, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just put myself in their place. If, if the band ever, if the Starlight ever goes big, I wouldn't want anybody copying exactly i don't mind that they are influenced by at the start like but i don't yeah, know if i would yeah. want them to exactly copy what we do you know yeah so so that's that was yeah but yeah, I, don't I, don't know. Like, I don't like bagging anyone's work i mean obviously no, I don't, yeah i don't know enough quite hard but it's very it's very close isn't it <laughs> it is it is it is it is super close um again we're just looking at a couple of pictures so i would need more information to yeah. completely <laughs> disregard it but yeah, I mean, the the art in the front though looks really cute. I gotta say, oh, and the art is the art is nice. I, I, I do oh, like. Yeah, the definitely, the art is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. and and I wouldn't mind playing a, a Pokemon board game because I don't think there is one yet. Is there? I'm surprised. I don't think no, there yeah. is. Not. I don't think hey, there's another one we haven't heard of. <laughs> well, right there, you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, your turn. <laughs> So this is coming on Kickstarter, so that's good because the first one uh, on my list is also uh, coming up, and I thought, oh my gosh, may maybe maybe uh, I'm cheating because I picked one that, of course, I don't know about because it hasn't come out yet. <laughs> but it's called Astronites, and uh, I read that it was coming on. Oh, maybe it's already out because it is 2023. Well, maybe it's already out because I was able to see some videos on the gameplay and stuff. Um, one to four players, 7.9 rating. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. that's mad. Yeah. And I will tell you why. This is Aeon's End in Space. Oh. So if you know Aeon's End, and it's the deck builder with the yeah. uh, no, no shuffling your deck mechanics, this is it. This is it, but in space. They just, um, obviously, there's a few differences, but basically, it's the same thing. You go against one big bad guy, it's cooperative. And you're building your deck with the stuff that's out in the board on the board, 
and then you just you just attack and you, you get it done <laughs> and obviously there's different baddies i saw the mat somewhere and it's it looks so cool so colorful i mean you see the art is really really i was just gonna say the artwork's gorgeous yeah the art is really popping it's, it's actually i don't want to say it. it's it's, it's it's very different from Aeon's End. Aeon's End is, is more, of course, the theme is completely different. But they really pulled it out with, with pull it up with the with the art. I love I love that. See, there's the map, but it's yeah, of course it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> um, there it is. Oh, wow, yeah, that's yeah. a beautiful table presence right there, isn't it? It is. It is. If you okay, if you let's let's put it this way. I haven't played it, but. If you're not playing it, it looks beautiful. I wonder though if when you're playing it, it's too much, too overwhelming, and it, and it creates distractions because that could become a problem. I don't know. I haven't played it, you know, but it does look very nice. Yeah. And it, very nice components. They have dividers already with the because on uh, what is it, Marvel Champion? I have to write down the stuff myself. Here it already comes printed, so very yeah, nice. It's very neat and tidy mm -hmm. in the box, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. So that's. Uh, astronauts and i'm not exactly sure if it's already out or if it's coming out but it's pretty new yeah 2023 so it's due out if it's not out already yeah it should, should already be out but we're almost done can you believe we're almost done with 2023 oh don't even get me started <laughs> <laughs> yeah that sounds crazy <laughs> <laughs> radio my next one now i put this on my list because uh, when I was looking into it, uh, so what happened is I did the random search to try and find something I'd never heard of. And this popped up and I thought it was the game, but it turns out when I looked into it, this is like a new uh, add-on or something for the game. So I've got the game and then this new one uh, on oh. this. I'm going to put the game up first. Okay. And this is, this is one that I think you will uh, you will enjoy. Arena the Contest. Have you heard of it? No. Look at that rating. Wow. 8.6. What year is this? Oh, so this is this has been played. Yeah. And it, wow. And look, it does does a solo. Yeah. <coughs> Show me more. <laughs> Show me more. Arena the Contest. And now, oh, there was a, there was only one problem that I had with this game. Right. The same problem we all usually have. We always have with women in fantasy games, right? Yep. Giant yep. boobs and no armor coverage. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean compared to the compared to the male ones. Yes. Come on now, get your act together. Get okay. your act together. Let's see if we can get to the actual game, shall we? Jeez. <laughs> oh look, she she's not bad. She's not bad, but she's, she's like best. Well, she's not going to go fighting. No, she's just playing. She's, she's just playing. She's the bard. <laughs> <She's the bar. laughs> Jeez, oh. Ah, here we go. Okay. Oh, it's got miniatures? You like Look miniatures? Look at that dragon. Do you see how huge he is compared to right. everything else? Whew. As it should be, right? As it should be, yes. Look at this. What? Oh man! I thought you'd like this one. I don't know anything about it other than it's fantasy. It's got awesome miniatures. It's nice table presence, and uh, I thought you'd enjoy it. And the bard. <laughs> and the cute bard. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, she's dressed. Bad. She doesn't look bad. She doesn't look bad, but um, she's yeah. fully dressed. She has armor. I I agree. I approve. I approve. It's the other one that you know. There we go. Yeah. I guess, you, I guess you don't need much armor when you're ranged. <laughs> ah, perfect. I love it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, you haven't that. heard of that one. I'm surprised. No, I have never heard of this. Arena the Contest. That's This is awesome. I'm going to go watch videos tonight. I mean, later today. Oh. All right. Oh, oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Surely those bits don't come with the game. No, they? I'm sure those are three D. They um, look like they've been added on. Yeah, but it gives you an idea of what it looks like, I guess. I really need to get my uh, a three D printer. I just I, the only reason why I don't get it is because I don't think I will know how to use it. <laughs> oh, you'll probably use it. You know, it's it's the one tool that I had uh, at our old house that I really miss. Really? Yeah, but you're an artist and you and you're techie. I am neither one of those things. 
<laughs> yeah, you don't really need to be that to go on a segue. Just go on Thingiverse and download all the things. <laughs> okay. All right. You're Hello. trying to convince me. I see it. I also heard that it stinks, so you'd have to be careful where you put it. Yeah, you definitely need uh, an airy space, although I think you might be able to buy some that, like, self um, – like regulate the air as it as it's uh, as the fumes are coming out. Okay. So yeah. There. Your turn. What do you think of that one, though? You, you, you think you'd like that one? I think as soon as we're done, I'm going to go look at some videos to see <laughs> what the play game, what the, what the game re plays like and stuff. So yeah, for sure. Right. Thank you so much for showing it to me. No problem. I wish I had a I wish I had a pen so I could write all these names down. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll do that after. Uh, all right, so my next one, so here's how this one came about. There is a story behind this one. So last time we did this, I brought up a game that was really, really weird. So I kind of wanted to bring another really weird game. Do you remember that game that was like psychoanalytical? Yeah, uh, yeah. The super, I don't remember what it was called, but it was something about dying. You had, you were dying and you had to make some decisions. So this time I didn't find something so intricate, but I did find a really cool game that's called That Time You Killed Me. Ah, oh, now I have heard of this one. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I've heard of this one. Yeah, so this is a two player only game. So it's uh, ver uh, player versus player. That's the only way you can play it. So 7.7, it's an abstract strategy game. That's probably why you heard of it because I know you like, uh, abstract games oh i love them <laughs> the cool thing about this one is that you're actually the theme is about going to the future and to the past and trying to defeat your opponent uh in in at least two sections so either in the past and present or in the present and past or you, you wherever you wherever you want but it's pretty much like a chess game and if you look at it you can tell yeah. It has like those chess pieces, but it, the base game is not too uh, crazy. Um, the rules are very simple, but then you can add modules. They have, I think, is three modules and then one where you can combine all the, the previous modules together. But you get stuff like I thought it was so clever, like on the uh, first box, you open up to add more stuff. There is something where if you you can plant a seed in the uh, past and then immediately it grows a bush in the present and a tree all the way in the future and then you can use the tree and the bush to throw your opponent against it or knock the tree down and, and defeat your opponent that way and there's even more stuff that of course i don't want to spoil because those envelopes come nice and close and the components are beautiful like um you yeah. really yeah the components are really well well done for a Obviously, when it's an Astra game, you kind of expect that, right? You don't want to play an Astra game with crappy components. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, was, well, I think it's true for any game. Like, I don't want to play a miniature game with crappy miniatures. I want to play with nice miniatures, or even if it's their standees with nice art, you know? Yeah. So I thought this was very, very clever. Uh, supposedly, it's very thinky. So it's not a game that you... It's not a filler game. <laughs> you can go into yeah, and analysis paralysis could probably destroy it. So be careful who you play with. But supposedly very entertaining. So I thought it was really, really, really yeah. different, unique. And I, that's what I was going for: unique, a unique game. Yeah, I love it. I had heard of it right because it, it had a lot of buzz at one at one time. I remember, but you okay. know, what? I didn't know that it looked like that. I thought it was a board game, like a proper, like a. Like that one that came out with the professor that lived in the castle and, you, and it had a time thing. I thought it was more like that. I didn't realize it was uh, so chess-like. Yep. yep. Yeah, it's fascinating. Yeah, it's, it's definitely different. And, and and you have to appreciate that. You have to be thankful for, for designers that think outside the box and create unique things. And also, like, the theme, who doesn't like? And it's well done. Like, time traveling actually makes sense. Sorry, guys. Time traveling actually, that makes sense, you know? Like, they get in your, in your brain. So that, that, that helps out, too. It's really hard to get time traveling done yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, a, that's good. Even though I'd heard of that one, um, new information because i didn't realize that's what kind of game it was mm -hmm. nice all right. all right so my next one is a follow-on to the last one so this is the this is the thing that i actually got by randomly uh randomly searching this is the thing that um led me to that last game okay uh this one Arena the Contest, Tanara's Adventures. So I thought this was the game. And then when I looked into it, obviously, I realized this is like an addition 
to the game right. that we looked at. So uh, it's better. <laughs> 8.6 comes out this year by the looks of it, uh, and you can play it solo. Okay. So why didn't you, why didn't you just uh, talk about them together? Why did you separate them? Oh, I don't know, just because they're both quite big. I see. Um, this is it's a massive expansion for arena okay. contests with more than 40 miniatures and 70 different types of villains. Angela, um, it really takes cooperative cool. campaign content beyond a hundred hours of unique gameplay. A hundred hours if I only had all that time. Right. You want to make me spend money again, Angela? You keep doing I'm this. Sorry, I'm sorry. Look at these. Look at these miniatures, though. Oh, okay. That's beyond my ability to paint, though. <laughs> but very nice. Oof. Very nice, Angela. I love it. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's Is that dragon? There is the yeah. yeah. Oh my god, those guys are so cool. Oh, I wonder, I wonder what the the gameplay is like. Like, is it um? I don't see any dice, so I'm guessing it's either. It. Let's find something. There's a Smoke lot of cards, cards going in there. Like yeah, it's Maybe like Mage Wars, but Mage Wars does Mage Wars have dice? I don't know. I haven't. You know, I haven't been able to finish those rules. They're so. <laughs> So oh, I, I I don't know how you do it. If if a rule book is like a telephone directory, I'm not interested. And for okay. those younger people watching, a telephone directory is what we used to get our telephone numbers out of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The book where the phone numbers were printed and you had to memorize the numbers, not just call mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what do you think? I thought you'd oh, like that one. Oh. Look how pretty it is. Uh, you know, uh, when when we when we're done, I need to I need you need to let me go get a pen so I can write some names down because I cannot wait until those videos out to then copy down the names. <laughs> oh, I'll, just, yeah, I'll send them to you afterwards. Yeah, I, I, I can just write them down. You can just uh, <laughs> remind me. Oh my, that's it. Nothing else to say. Just, uh, I just I just don't know if I can paint that. Like that looks really intricate. You know what happened to me? I was I was uh, I finished painting a one of my games actually mansions of madness uh and i went to pick the next game so i picked assassin's creed and i always look like okay you know what colors do i need and i look, go on board game geek and i see what other people have done and i was like oh uh -uh. well you guys are going back in the box and you're gonna stay unpainted this is too much this is way too much for my skill level and I, yeah it's, uh, i don't know there's <laughs> probably a lot of white in assassin's creed as well is there which is is quite yeah. hard to paint it's hard to paint. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking first I need to get me some, uh, what do you call it, primer? Some white primer. And prime you guys at least with white because, yeah, uh -oh. yeah. yeah. Why well, I don't, you know, I don't like white and I don't like skin. Skin is my worst enemy. I don't, I, maybe one day we should do a chat about how to paint because you're excellent at it and I would love some tips from you. Like, yeah. So, yeah. Something to think about. Look bad. There's a lot of, um, I love dry brushing. It's my favorite thing. Yeah, big mm -hmm. things, little things, and uh, mm -hmm. something like this guy on the left mm -hmm. that would just look schmick, even with like one layer of dry brush because of all that detail, right? Because he has some, so much detail. You're right, you're right. You know what? But see, that that's that's your artistic eye right there. <laughs> I do enjoy, I do, do enjoy like my favorite things to, to paint. I love when there's like bears, any 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 furry animal. I love that. To me, that's so much fun. You because like I said, you dry brush it, and all of a sudden you you look at it and you're like, oh, wow, it just it pops. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's great. <laughs> yeah. Next. All right. Your turn. Next. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna go down to a, a smaller smaller game. It seems like we've been doing big, small, big, small. So this one is gonna be smaller more manageable not so many crazy miniatures but really cool i thought it's called vinyl like, oh I'm, you're a yeah you're a yeah. Yeah. You know this one <laughs> yeah. you know this one okay uh well maybe some people out there don't know it 7.2 yeah. i mean i just thought the theme was so cool like who doesn't i mean maybe maybe younger people don't know about collecting vinyl but going to a record store back in the day when records were still a thing and just browsing they were, yeah there was such a thing like now you just type it in and the, the picture pops up but that searching through vinyl just like start going to blockbuster and looking at all the movies in the wall and picking there was something about that we you guys don't get that anymore you really don't 
So in this board game, they're trying to recreate that. You are a uh, vinyl collector. And uh, I, I figured you would like this one because it's very much like you. Um, it's, it's not horribly complicated, but there is a little bit to do. And it's worker placement. So you take your meeple or your disco meeple, I should say, or your guitar, um, and, and you take an action and you want to collect uh, records of the same genre, of the same uh, era, of the same different, there's different kind of things. And music company to make points depending on, you know, you can make sets or I think there's objectives. I, I haven't played it, but you know, but even the board, even though it's a bit busy, it's one of those where it looks really cool, but then when you're playing it, it might might get busy when you know when you're trying to do stuff and it's so much information especially when you put all the albums and the, well, the, the art and the albums isn't that great like you get the act the cover yeah like that you get like a like a like an album cover and some of them i know they're like jokes <laughs> like you know yeah they're... you can see that on a couple of them there that we flicked by mm -hmm. uh, like you know what it is like which i think is so be. clever I, I love when they do that see this is different to the pokemon thing though isn't it this this is uh fine this yeah. this is a, a good way of doing it yeah right. it's yeah, quite yeah, yeah. funny yeah like there's one there and as soon as you see it you're like i know what that is right, <laughs> right. <coughs> there are tons of expansions there's a pop i think it's a 80s expansion and uh many more the, only, the one i remember is the 80s because that was the one that i was like oh i would definitely get the 80s expansion that's that's my music so yeah i mean roger kenny van uh -huh. you know, yeah it's so clever uh -huh. so uh -huh. clever now let me tell you why i reacted in the way that i did when um when you mentioned it i'm wondering okay. if i vibed this one to you at some point because in within the last week um i was looking through Oh, I can't remember. I was looking through like a tabletop um, news thing and this game popped up and I went down a rabbit hole looking at this game and I was like, I need it and I need all expansions. Did you get it? I didn't, no, but it's, it is high up there because I okay. loved it the minute I saw it and I was like, yeah. I haven't seen anyone sort of used that theme before mm -hmm. i love that they're expansions and i loved the little in jokes as well yes just yes. everything about it grabbed me straight away so i'm so happy that you chose it for your list awesome good look i think this time it was it just i will i would say I, I didn't i wasn't like oh i'm just gonna love it like i said I, I was i'm so time constrained right now that i kind of just went 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 oh this will look interesting let's just add it to the list but i'm glad that uh yeah that they had that effect <laughs> yeah definitely all right, all right my next one's uh, a tiny game as far as i could work out one that i'd probably play with my grandkids but i put it on here just because i liked the mechanism and i'll show you why okay it's called alf the hut is that right the hut 2022 here we go now as far as i work could work out using google translate elf the hut means something about the hat or off the hat or at the hat or something to do with the hat well, let me show you why i um i thought this was fun oh my gosh are they gonna have hats right so you've oh. got characters and you're trying to match at the top you're trying to match the correct hat with the character okay look how cute that is it's a zock game so yeah so here they are with uh with the correct hat hats on. and that's all you're trying to do and i just thought my grandkids would love playing that because if you had the knight with the witch's hat you know or the the viking with the jester hat or whatever it might be um, that they'd get a giggle out of that. Well, of course. Is there a picture with them, like with the wrong hats on, or, or everybody was? You know, I think that's the only images there. Oh, that's it. Okay. Oh, there we go. They've got. Oh, there, there they are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can see how this can be fun, uh, especially for kids. Yeah, I like that. Um, I like that thing of having things match in game. Mm -hmm. Like, I wish more games did that on on 
a grander scale. So if you had a, say you had a character in a role playing game that you're playing and that you could overlay armor or overlay a helmet or put a sword in its hand, but so that when it's on the table, that character is leveling up, you know, mm -hmm. purely leveling up for you. I mm -hmm. wish your games would do that. It, yeah, it would sell it to me straight away. Yeah, I I, um, I think a lot of, uh, more than ever, I'm inclining more towards simple yet, is it really simple kind of games, you know? Yeah, well, if, if something's semi-simple, at least you get it to the table, right? That's, that's, that's how my board gaming has grown. It's gone from sort of playing heavier things now into playing medium light things and it's purely down to time if you can if you can read the rules learn it mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. 20 minutes that is yeah. better than sitting there struggling for an hour with that rule book right right yeah this is i think i think they both have a place you know i think well, it's like okay. What somebody uh, I heard somebody said today is like you know it depends on your mood and, and what you know what how much time yeah. uh, you have to to play the game. So, um, all right, yeah. Let's uh, see. So okay, so the, my next one, I I I think I'm the only person that has never heard of it before. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, I might be the only the only gamer because again, I, I haven't been paying much attention to what's up and coming. But this is uh, in Kickstarter, I think now or just finished Kickstarting. I don't know. It's called Adventures in Neverland. Oh, it sounds cute. Oh, so you don't know it? Okay, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> oh, 2023, yeah. So it's Peter Pan and Wendy, basically, is it? Adventure game set in the world of Peter Pan and Captain Hook, yeah. 7.7, .7, if that's like a proper score, isn't bad, is it? Yeah, I heard really good things. And you know what the, the best part is? Is that it's a, here it goes, a story-driven game. Oh, uh, yay! <laughs> So uh, I, I don't know much about the gameplay. You'll have to forgive me. It does look gorgeous. Oh. Uh, the theme is something that I think both of us appreciate because it's Disney, it's Peter Pan. Uh, but apparently, you depending on what decisions you make during the game, you're going to get different cards with different you know, stories. And you will continue the story uh, depending on what you've picked. So I don't really know what you do on your turn or anything like that. I just know that... A lot of it is, is, is story driven. Yeah, the artwork's beautiful. Really nice. They've gone for a real fantasy uh, fantasy lean on it, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. Oh, wow, so it comes with miniatures as well? Yeah, 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 definitely. Oh, lovely. So these are your playboards. Nice, nice. Yeah, I thought it was. I, I, I was interested. I haven't been to the Kickstarter because I'm afraid. Yes, <laughs> don't want to get pulled into that rabbit hole. <laughs> as far as I understand, there is a deluxe version. Because uh, uh, when, when I when I started reading, the, uh, the person was was suggestion go with the deluxe version, even if because you might you might get better value for your money if if you yeah. do go for the deluxe version. And there's already expansions as well, but at least go for the deluxe version. So I'm scared. I think he said it was only a hundred dollars, but I could I could be confused, which is not terrible. Hundred dollars for a game nowadays is 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 kind of like the standard. <laughs> it seems to be, yeah, creeping up. Nice, nice pick. Yeah, very very nice. And I hadn't heard of it, which is weird because I was on the start of perusing, just perusing, didn't back anything um, <laughs> last week. Mm, okay, <clears throat> good, good. All righty, let me see, because I can't remember. Uh, all right, now I chose this one for a weird reason, um, but we'll give it a look. Oh, Dark Ages, Heritage of Charlemagne. So I was flicking through, obviously trying to find random things, and this came up, and the only reason that it stuck in my mind is because it had Charlemagne 
in the title, which immediately made me think of Dr. Henry Jones saying um, my Charlemagne when he does that thing with the umbrella in the movie, if you've seen uh, Indiana Jones. And I was like, oh, Charlemagne, that's like an amazing leader. Let's have mm-hmm. a look at this and see, uh, see what the story is. And it looks very Arthurian here, which is mm-hmm. interesting. I, think, I thought Charlemagne was maybe Roman, but anyway, um, it looks beautiful and it looked like something that um, you might play. Look at these little, <laughs> I didn't even see these pictures um, when I flicked through it yesterday. So that's weird. Wow, look at all oh, the minis. Man. Look at all those components. <laughs> yeah. So let's assume it's Charlemagne taking over um, areas of Europe or whatever. Luckily, I don't enjoy that. So in the dark ages, you don't enjoy that. It's no, sort of too realistic, not sort of fantasy enough. Uh, I don't. I don't like the whole area control. Try to conquer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, don't, I like battling monsters. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. But yeah. that's pretty cool buildings <laughs> yeah i mean it looks it does look nice right but as i say well, i literally chose it because charlemagne popped in you know as the name and i was like oh that's that's in yeah. my brain. that's that's what i went to in mm-hmm. the well, i love when games pull from reality you know and you can actually learn something while you play we talked about this before yeah oh definitely i love that as well if you get a little bit of historical context yeah definitely yeah like this looks this looks Arthurian. See, okay. in my mind, Charlemagne was an Arthurian figure, but then I looked it up and I'm sure it said he was Roman. You're asking the wrong person because I do not do history very well. Yeah. Well, there we go. We can learn about that after uh, after we finish. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Yeah. All right. So my last one, that was your last one? No, it's my last one yet. Okay, okay. so I, I am looking at the, on the list. We'll end up with the light one, but very colorful, very pretty. Oh, nice. We're going from, from the dark ages to colorful. It's called Life of a Chameleon. I thought you would like it because chameleon, you know. Chameleon. <laughs> so if you haven't heard of this one, this is my time to have you spend money. Oh, wow, <laughs> the little meeples. Yeah, I, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's really the cutest game like the sim, really simple cute game you would love you will enjoy it i can already tell that you and tracy would totally enjoy this so ah! what, you're doing, <laughs> Look at that. what you're doing is you're uh, collecting bugs and the bugs are those little cubes uh so in order to collect bugs during your turn you can move to where a bug is but you can only move in if you're the same color as the cube, because if you're not the same color as the cube, you'll scare the bug away and then you won't be able to catch it. There are also snakes that want to get you. <laughs> so in order to go through the snakes, you have to be the same color so that you know they don't see you. Uh, so on your turn, you can either move or you can choose to change colors. And when you change colors, you are gonna grab cards which are up there. You might get a card that is a two color, which of course gives you an advantage because you can go through two different um, yeah. you know, different colors. Uh, and the other thing that you can do in your turn is put more bugs out so you can eat them. Because when you collect, when you when you do the, uh, I guess the contracts, they're not contracts, but when you're eating your bugs, you have to eat them in a certain order of colors, depending on the card that you're trying to complete. Really simple. But how adorable, right? Oh, look at it. So. It's beautiful. I've never seen it before. Yeah. And it has, it, I love that it has all of that. Plus, you see, there's dice. So uh, when when you're rolling for bugs, you roll the, the, the I think it's 10 sided. I don't remember. And, and the, whatever number you get, that's where you put the bug. And whatever color you get on the other dice, what color bug you get. So, very clever way of doing it. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. Oh, Annabelle, look, now you're costing me money. I'm going to put that on my wish list. I told you. I told you this was the one. <laughs> I'm adding it right now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> She's not even kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're in front of everybody. That's a good one. Uh, I love it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it has a pretty good rating, 7.5. Right? Yeah. It's, it's nice what, pretty Nice under family. an hour so under an hour is something you can you can you can pull you know there's something doable yeah 
Yeah, definitely. Good, good end, good, good end of the list. And I, I did it. I, I, I had a different order. Uh, and then before, before we met today, I changed the order, and on purpose, I left that one for last. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Finished on a high note. I finished on a dark ages note. <laughs> Which you thought I would like. So <laughs> nice. Uh, I feel like uh, we're always trying to, to find games for you each other you know like so, <laughs> so, so cute <laughs> so yeah that was our list now it's up to you guys now we need to know what games that we missed <laughs> what other games should we hear about that we haven't heard about and just throw anything out there even if we have heard about it i just love hearing of opinions like a lot of times when i when, those are my favorite comments well i mean not my, you know one of my favorite comments is when people tell me hey have you heard of this game or that game you know? yes and, when they cop when when our viewers cost us money, is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just going to point us in the right direction because I feel like I, I remember when I first started the hobby. Uh, I had a I had a friend, and uh, we would go to local geek stores together. And the way that she would pick board games was just the cover art. You know, there was no other information. And yeah, sometimes she got it right. Let me tell you, a lot of times she got it wrong. Uh, and, and I don't have, uh, sometimes I don't have the time to look into a game. So, uh, you know, I'll see it and like, like you showed us the quacks of Quack, Quackerdale or something. Okay. Yeah. And I was like, well, I don't know what that's about. So whew, I won't even pay attention to it. But if someone tells you, then you pay more attention. So when my yeah. viewers, when you guys tell me, I pay attention. And yeah, you might cost me money down the road, but I feel like it's better invested in it if I just went and, oh, that art looks good. Definitely. Sometimes I do. I'll go to my local geek store sometimes because I know that there are certain times during the, the month that they have uh, deals and also they have a lot of used games. Uh, so I, I last, last time I got, uh, we'll talk about that in another. Okay. Another <laughs> game, we, just, we just acquired. I know that's coming, so stay, stay tuned. But yeah, I got, I just got the games because I saw it and I knew nothing about it, but it was a good price and I said, I'll take it home. I could have gotten a terrible game because I didn't have any information. So. I do yeah. appreciate comments. Um, oh, so yeah, definitely. Let's definitely. Yeah, let us know. And before we go, we have a game. So Angela is going to do our game. We're going to do a cover. Put something yeah. here. I'm not even going to try to point. So I was pointing the wrong way. What is it? <laughs> what we'll game is that from? That's just a little bit of a box art. You have to have a good eye. I, I never get those. I, I am so bad. I don't pay attention to art or anything. But hopefully one of you will, will get it. And if you do, leave us a comment and we'll let you know if you're correct. The next no, time I'll, you I'll go for a big, I'll go for a well-known game. Okay. I'll go for a well-known one. And let's see how much attention people pay to the uh, box art. Sounds great. Sounds yeah. great. All right. And uh, if there's anything you'd like for us to talk about, uh, thank you to, uh, you know, for a part two of this series. That was really, I was not expecting it, but I do enjoy it a lot. It might have been Kabuki Kid who uh, suggested we do a part two. So thanks. Thanks, sis. Thanks. <laughs> Kabuki Kid is awesome. Yeah. I don't know her, but I already love her because you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so guys, if you have a topic for us, let us know in the comments below. And I guess we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Play more games.